One of my favorite times of the year is the Halloween season. To me, there's a lot of great things about it, like trick-or-treating or all the spooky shenanigans and pranks that you and your friends will pull all the time, or my favorite part of it, which has always been dressing up for the big night itself on Halloween. I always loved going to the store and looking at the many choices for costumes, all of the different shows and movies and more. And after picking a costume, I always loved wearing them and then taking on a new persona for a night with friends. Usually, I always picked something that I loved or I was interested in that year. So for many years on end I was either a transformer or a ninja. But in 2015 when I discovered Kamen Rider for the first time with Kamen Rider Drive I decided that I had to be this character from a really crazy awesome new franchise that I quickly fell in love with. In honor of the Halloween spirit I'm going to show off the Kamen Rider costumes that I made in 2015 and 2016. For the duration of this video I'm going to refer to them as costumes and not cosplay because they were made just as costumes that I only wore on Halloween, more of a Halloween costume and not a cosplay for a convention and stuff like that. But with that all the way now, let's start with 2015. As I mentioned, this was when I had my first experience with Kamen Rider because of Drive. So I made him my first Halloween costume and it was my first homemade costume ever because I don't live in Japan and I would have no access to anything Rider related or at least easy access to anything Rider related because I did purchase my first Drive ever for his costume, but that's about the only thing I purchased for the costume, at least from Japan. The majority of this costume and the armor is made out of playmat foam that was cut up and then molded into place with a heat gun. You can especially see this in the knee pads, where a section of the foam was cut and flipped to reveal the pattern on playmats to simulate the gas pedals of Drive's knee pads. Even the helmet was made out of this foam, and this was once again cut and bent into place with different pieces of foam. A lot of the little mechanical details on the lower half of the helmet are also made from foam. I think only those wires are made from some different material that I can't actually remember. However, However, since this was my first time making an actual helmet for a character, it's only the front half of the helmet with the back of it being made up of a single elastic strap to keep it on my head. The eyes on this thing, for me, are both the best and worst executed part of it. The plastic used on this part was completely clear originally because it was taken from a sanitizer bottle or something of that sort, and obviously the eyes had to be opaque to those not wearing it, but see through for me on the inside to simulate a normal Kamen Rider helmet. It. The solution I used for this problem was to just slightly spray silver paint on the outside and it more or less provided the needed effect, but it did kind of fog up the lenses a bit so at night it was kind of hard to see. This effect was worsened in the part where I think the eyes shined best, which was when they literally shined. White LEDs were placed on the inside of the helmet around the eyes to create the glowing effect all riders have especially driving a lot of scenes. I couldn't see crap when I had those lights on, but it made a pretty badass effect in photos and in person. It looked so cool. The tire sash, another strap of foam, also had a thin line of LED filament for another light up effect. This time it's red, so you know that I automatically like it. It's the more subtle effect of the two, but I think it works really well. Pretty much all the rest of the details on the costume were spray painted, except for the Drive logo on the helmet, because that's actually cut out of some shiny tape that was then placed on a black circle, and it creates this differentiating effect with that logo, and I think it works really well. My favorite part of the costume though, besides the helmet, is the last minute change I made to wear a Adidas pants instead of normal black pants to simulate the Drive racing stripes. Hashtag not sponsored. That's about it for Drive, so now let's move a year ahead to when Kamen Rider Exit was starting, but I dressed up as Ghost. Now this is primarily because I started with Drive the previous year and that was when Ghost was just premiering and I was still a writer new by the time so I don't think I even knew that a new season was starting at that point. Along with that I didn't watch entire episodes because I didn't have a way to do so and I didn't see reviews of any episodes because I wasn't really part of the fandom or interacting with anyone in the fandom so I also didn't know how hated Ghost was. My only opinion of Ghost was based off of the suit and it still is based off of the suits. And this suit was significantly easier to make just because the ghost suit itself is relatively simple, especially compared to drive suit. All of the pads on the arms and legs were made from a cheaper foam that had some fabric paint placed on them. 
All of the pads on the arms and legs were made from cheap foam that had this fabric paint placed on them and it created this 3D effect in some cases. This same material was also used on the chest as well to create those detailings. So at this point, I basically have a transient, the base suit. The helmet on this guy was not made from foam, it was made from cardboard that was cut and bent in such a way that it created a, well, helmet. As opposed to the Drive costume, this was a full-on Kamen Rider helmet. From a design perspective, I like Drive's helmet more, but I think I'm more proud of my homemade ghost helmet. The eyes were even pulled off a bit better just due to the nature of Ghost's design because I was able to just cut out pieces from a window screen and then put those as the eyes. And it worked well to cover my eyes from an outside view and show off Ghost's big black eyes, but from my perspective, I could still see perfectly fine. The only downside is that this time around, I wasn't able to create any light up effects in the helmet. I kind of did some of the light up effects in the rest of the suit though, because the fabric paint was actually glow in the dark, but honestly it wasn't that impressive and didn't really work out too well. Maybe because I was using my phone to provide all the light to make it glow, and helmet just used normal orange paint because I did kind of want that helmet to work on its own without a glow in the dark effect. Oh, but of course I'm forgetting the actual Ore Donishi on this guy. This has got to be my favorite part of this costume because it just looks almost exactly like the one in the actual show. It was converted from an old Batman hoodie of mine, so it kind of helped to empty out my closet and get some use out of some old clothes. Since it was black to start with, all that was needed to be added were the orange stripes and little extra additions on the front. Since I wasn't supposed to take it off at all, it doesn't have the cute little ghost tail on the back though. The hardest part of the costume for me though, I felt was the ghost driver. In an effort to be cost effective, I bought two Gashapon icons because I made a homemade functioning version of the driver. It's a little larger than it actually should be and it looks ugly as hell on the inside, but at the time I made it, I could actually securely insert an icon, close up the front, and then pull the handle to click the icon to its next state and hench it, without sounds of course. Sadly, after Halloween that year, it sat in a cabinet for years on end, so now it's falling apart and it doesn't work properly anymore, so sadly I can't show you the Jujubee Ghost Driver in its prime, but trust me, when it did work, it was pretty awesome. So between these two costumes, I have to say that I prefer Jujubee Drive, because I'm just a bigger fan of Drive's design, right aside, but that's not to shame Jujubee Ghost at all. But I still love both of these costumes, I still feel they both work really well, I'm very proud of both of them, and coming back to all of these pictures to make this video was very nostalgic for me. This was when I just got back into Power Rangers and was discovering Japanese tokusatsu for the very first time. Making YouTube videos on this stuff was not even a thought that had crossed my mind at this point, and I didn't even know pretty much any of the toku tubers at that time. I have not made any more Rider costumes since Ghost. In 2017, I kind of combined parts from both costumes and more to create this Heisei Rider tribute, not including Geo, but it looked really bad, and this is, this is the only surviving picture of it, thank god, because it looked bad. <laughs> I may try to make a costume of certain rider suits in the future if I ever go to a convention, but as of now, Ghost and Drive are my two attempts at common rider costumes, and I'm pretty proud of how they turned out. Be sure to let me know what you think of the costumes down in the comment section, and if you want to share your own rider cosplay, you can go ahead and tweet those at me or share in the channel Discord server. And for more common rider videos, please consider hitting the subscribe button, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching, and happy Halloween.